uh, Mr. Bird. You're flying a little high there. Should, should I cut it? No, nope, there you go. Good girl. Yeah. Shay looking pretty badass. And now we have some friends, hooray! What? What do you see? What's going on? Holy shit. Oh. <sighs> wah, wah. <laughs> cool. I want that egg. Ah. Hey there, bird friend. Oh, Jesus. Fine then. Dad, look. Jesse brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so we're in the sky now. I, I assume there's no sense in me clicking hey, on the thanks bird. Thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. Mm -hmm. Uh, hey there. This there. looks like a fountain, but it's flat. Much lighter that mm -hmm. way. Can I talk to you? Oh, I thought her name was Shay. Oops. Hi, my <laughs> name is Bella. What's yours? I don't know where ah, I got Shay from. And Walter. Walter? Walter. With an apostrophe, mm -hmm. we admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chit. Chit. What's up, Chit and Walter? Who are, are you? you guys? We're the preeners, of course. Mm -hmm. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. So important. Can you guys Can help you guys me? help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? I am. So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. Oh god, that's a lot of text. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast and now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast and now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Yeah, I'd prefer not to die to a giant squid monster with many eyes. That's probably the spawn of Cthulhu. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Uh huh. Poor Mog Chathra. Uh. Mm, that's Look, a... <laughs> I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud because no one wants to leave. I do. Says she does, but she doesn't really. Right, Dad? Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. Do they? How do I get there? Or, yeah. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um... Follow the stink? I need to get I to, need to, get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. 
Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Mariloff. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Mm. I thought. So who's Jesse? Who's Jesse? That big blue oligo you rode in on. Yeah. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. <laughs> uh. Don't the birds. Don't the birds tend, tend the to nest? nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs, or get too fat, and then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Huh. Don't blow, stay afloat. S sounds right, I guess. Sure. Uh, tell me about Can you Lightbeard. tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, <laughs> chit. Oh, chit. yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. So why would you give him all your money? Because you're idiots? Uh, you know what? I'm well, done talking I'll to you, I'll see you, you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. No. Oh, well, he tried. So. It's a bird. Don't take this personally, bird. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, I gotta oh, get God. out of here. It's sinking. Let's go. Ooh, cloud shoes. Those seem useful. Hello. Madam. Careful. Ah. D uh, oh, well. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Uh, no, I have a knife. I can give it to you. Did I keep it? I think I did. Sorry. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your name? So what's your name? Carl. Carl? No. Carol. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Yeah. Uh. You can't make hats without a knife. Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can I give you well, my knife? I'll let you get back to your work. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, my work. Here. Oh, where's my knife? I want to get my knife. I want a, I want a, I want a knife. Or can I steal Ooh, one of these, maybe? Downy. Careful. Still got some bird mites on them. Ew. Ew. I guess we'll keep talking to her then. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Buoyancy is all about area, right? Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Yep. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Hey, can you make me a pair hey, of shoes? can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, use your Why teeth. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. No, use... You... Hey, can mm. I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son. Oh. What did they do this time? I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. And, uh, working as hard as you. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. <laughs> Poor thing. I'm so sorry. I wish I could give you mine. I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony? 
Handi Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Oh, you're such a good wife. And you're sad. I, again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Mm -hmm. Is that is all? Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager, off with her head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. Okay. Okay. Enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll find you a knife, I promise. I'll see if I can get you one. Uh, We have multiple ways to go. Let's go this way. See what's over here. Oh, I'm falling. Hi, I'm Mad... McGee. McGee. What's hey, up? what's up? <sighs> Nothing. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd uh get dusty or something. Is there hey, any way is off? Is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below, but Harmony took it out. Hmm. Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Okay. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. Hmm. What you need is a ladder. But it would have to be much taller than mine. So... I'm not allowed to leave. Nobody's allowed to leave. Sounds like Mr. Lightbeard is, uh... Kind of a kook. Uh, how do you, get, you the get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I. Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. Can I borrow hey, it? Can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Oh, thank you. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. Sweet, I got a ladder. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Uh, my mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. <laughs> oh, but don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. Well, that's just kind of sad now, isn't it? Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Aww. Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Makes sense, I guess. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. <laughs> Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, Hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> <laughs> your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? <laughs> your dad's in a cult? Uh, he's just taking this Lightbeard worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. Well, that is a plus. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. But... Gah. <laughs> well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. So, Mr. Lightbeard is probably not the best guy in the world, since he's wanted to start a cult. Oh, there's my knife. Hey, that's my knife. Good thing it didn't land on anybody. 
Yeah, that's a good thing. Can I get up there now? Oh, sweet. Cool. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Yep. Awesome, now we can stab some people. I mean, help them. Sure. <laughs> Let's just go see what's this way. Uh, hey there. Good birdie. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want to sink in there. I need to get to this egg. I shall use Can't get up there. my ladder. Oh god, I'm sinking. Let's see if I can do it from here. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh oh. It Ooh. sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird, this is all your fault. But... Alright. Oh, oh god, I'm falling again. So we need to find something to discourage jerk bird. I'm not entirely sure what the hell I'm doing. I guess I don't know. I have no idea. Hi. Hi. We're gonna go back this way. Let us go see what's over here. Okay. Oh, I got my knife. I, maybe I can get some shoes. Hey there. Uh, hey, yeah. Can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. I have one that you can borrow. Hey, can I ask you about your family again? Sure. I had no idea they were so interesting. No, not really, but, uh... You must be very proud. I'm sure Funny. I need to talk to you. just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish you had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? Mm. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. No, oh, my work. No. Oh. I'm so sorry. Knife. Say! That's some knife. It is. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's but for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Here. Huh. Thanks. Uh, I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're gonna be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. <laughs> okay. So, put them on. Okay, don't put them on then. Oh, maybe... Can I put them on the ladder? I did! Yeah, Papa look at me! Right. Turns out I am grateful for these shoes. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we can go, uh... Mess with Mr. Jerkbird again. Hi. Hi. Hello, Mr. Bird. I'm here for your egg. Or Madam Bird, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Maybe this will work. Dink. Stop a Big deal, Bird. Like I even need hooks now. Aha! Solid uh -huh. as a rock. Peekaboo. That's right. It's me, your worst nightmare. Hey, come back here and get your come up and <laughs> second thought, don't come back until you get some pants. <laughs> Stupid bird. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Better stick to the pads while I'm carrying this. That would probably be a good idea. Woo, I fell right through. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you, safety hey, bird. That Swiped my golden egg. Not fair. I stole it first. So I'm gonna need some shoes. Okay. Fine. At least we got jerk bird out of the way. Let's go find some shoes. Maybe I can have her shoes. If I ask really nicely. While brandishing my knife. Hello. Hi, so what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? 
no. And I already asked you that, so. Okay. Okay. Leave. Leave. 